let's see how fast this SSD can boot up this laptop now. Uh, we're gonna time. All right, that's all booted up. It's 16 seconds. That's really, really fast. It's so fast it just traveled me back in time. Hey, sports fans, welcome back. This is the installation of the SSD and Caddy into my laptop, and then we're gonna configure, migrate the data into the SSD to make it as the primary boot of the laptop. Now let's get right into it. So you will see on the back side of the SSD there's a serial ATA connection or SATA and we're going to connect that to the caddy. Before we put the SSD we need to remove this little thing to make a snug fit with the SSD in. So now we are going to put the SSD into the caddy and push the SSD into the, the SATA connection. You have to make sure it's uh, pushed all the way in so it would have that very good connection. Otherwise it may not work properly. So that's good enough. Now we're going to put this little thing back. This would make sure that it has a snug fit on the SSD inside the caddy. So after putting the SSD into the caddy we have to secure it with these four screws right here. So I got myself a different screwdriver, the one that's magnetic, um, so it would stick on the screwdriver. We are going to secure it on the side instead of the bottom so it would fit properly on the laptop. So we're on the fourth screw right now to secure the SSD. Now I'm going to tighten up all four screws with this uh, screwdriver that came with the uh, caddy. Alright, that's all secured. What we're going to do is we're going to cut off the video. I'm going to get my laptop, turn the video back on, and we're going to continue on the installation of this SSD and the caddy. And we're back. So I got my Lenovo IdeaPad 320 here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the optical drive on this side and we're gonna install the SSD caddy. So we have to unscrew this. Uh, this is holding the optical drive on this laptop. And now we're going to slide out the optical drive. There we go. And we're going to set that aside. And we're going to get the SSD with the caddy. The front base plate, as you can see, they are similar. And this is the back part. We are going to insert now the caddy into the laptop, like so, and make sure that you push it all the way in so it would be connected properly inside the laptop. 
Okay, that's that's good. I switch over to my phone camera. My SJ camera just ran out of battery. So this time we're gonna boot up using the hard drive and we're gonna measure the boot up time. Alright, that should be booted up. I know it's all booted up because the application that I have to monitor the uh, temperature is already there. And that should be it. That's about 1 minute and 35 seconds. Whoa. Really, really slow. So now we're going to check the SSD. Uh, we're going to check the device manager. Going to properties on this PC. And on the left hand side you got the device manager. I click that. And the device manager window should pop up and look for drives. And you will see the Samsung SSD. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna do a partition of the, the SSD as well as the formatting. Um, so we can migrate the data from the current hard drive into the SSD. And then after that, we're gonna boot to SSD. Um, we're gonna go to control panel. We're gonna go to the administrative tools and computer management and disk management. As you can see, it's uh, unallocated. Okay, we're gonna Allocate maximum uh, data. Yeah, we can assign D for now. Okay, there it is. That's now done and uh, we're going to close out, we're going to check on, there we go, with our SSD, next we're going to go run the uh, data migration, Samsung software, okay we're going to click on start, and start again. Yes. That should start to clone the existing hard drive into the SSD, migrating data into the SSD. So we're going to cut off the video, we're going to come back as soon as it's done cloning. Okay, so that's done. Uh, it looks like it's successful cloning the uh, data from the original hard drive into the new SSD. We're gonna click on close. So it's gonna shut down. So it's done rebooting. It's still running the hard drive right now. Next would be to configure the computer to boot up directly to the SSD. So we are inside the UEFI firmware settings. We are going to the boot menu. 
in the boot menu, go down to the Samsung SSD, press F6 to move up, and uh, go to the exit and exit save changes. And then yes. And that's it. We are now booting up with the SSD. Previously with a hard drive, it took about 1 minute and 35 seconds to boot up. Let's see how fast this SSD can boot up this laptop now. Uh, we're going to time. All right, that's all booted up. It's 16 seconds. That's really, really fast. It's so fast, it just traveled me back in time. So, thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. See you next time.